Roberts. Multiple flood evacuation orders are in place across the state. An emergency warning is in place for a bushfire. It is too late to leave. There's multiple players that are communicating during a natural hazard. Media, but also people on Facebook and different kinds of groups and organisations as well. When there is inconsistency in the messages, it can trigger um, concerns, misperceptions. People don't process complicated information necessarily in the same way when their mindset and their environment is different. Uh, not being able to problem solve, not being able to c conduct uh, an action in the way which would maximise your safety. Think about what a community member may or may not know and stand in their shoes and think about what you need them to do. Our advice is lead with that behavioural action and then supplement that with the specific instructions that support that behavioural cue. And the use of visuals to tell part of a broader crisis narrative is really important. The research that's been done over the past um, couple of years has been so valuable to us as emergency services organisations to really shape what we're doing in the public information and warnings world. We've been able to take some um, really key concepts and apply them to our warnings template. We're continuously evolving what we're doing and really meeting the needs of the community. Certainly when we are crafting our own messages, we understand now that we can put those elements into our work as well and really and work hard with our own communications within our own organisation as well as external to us um, to make sure we are giving the correct message and using those tips and tricks that I have picked up.